Hi folks, welcome back to my Noob to Pro Israel Tech Grind series, where I will be documenting my journey from a total beginner to an absolute menace. If you are new to this series, please make sure to start from video number one. This commentary has been added post-recording. If you prefer a non-commentary version, click on the card above. If anyone has any suggestions on how to improve my gameplay, please share them in the comments below. I would like to start off this video by saying thank you for all of your great suggestions. I really appreciate your tips, recommendations, and feedback regarding my gameplay. A special thank you to RWAG. Your comments were especially helpful, and I learned a ton. I'm still a fairly new player. I've just played a week or two back in 2015, and came back to War Thunder since March the 1st this year. I've been playing for around 13 days so far, so comments with any tips are always welcomed, and I read and respond to each and every one. I've said it a bunch of times now, but the scenery of this game is oh so beautiful. I found myself enjoying the flying at the start of the realistic battles more and more, and I tend to fly even lower than this, especially near bodies of water. I don't know. There's just something fulfilling about it. I can only imagine how real pilots feel and the sights they've seen. I get the sudden urge to set the unrealistic goal of getting the takeoff message as late as possible. I think it's triggered once you fly a certain height above the ground, and it just makes me try to fly low as much as possible, which would probably result in a crash. I low-key get annoyed that teammates don't turn off their radar at the start of the round, this constant beeping is getting on my nerves. This is one of the pros of climbing to altitude. The beeping stops as soon as you are out of the radar's range. It probably won't be long now till the F-20 Tiger Shark is released with the new update. I'm excited to try a different high rank plane. I initially thought that maybe I should have gotten planes with more missiles, but the fact that both of these planes are focused more on fighting is something I'm enjoying more and more as I'm getting better with my aim and trigger discipline. Once I hear the radar warning receiver, I keep glancing to spot the plane which is targeting me. At the middle left, right below the instructor, you can see on the display the general direction in which the plane which is targeting you is positioned. Though in this case, I think it's just the teammates again. In today's plane description card, we will be focusing on the J-35 XS Draken, which is a part of the Swedish tech tree. I was surprised while looking it up. This plane has a set of six RB-24J missiles, which are basically an AIM-9P, they have a good range as well as the ability to pull 20 Gs maximum. Not only that, the aircraft gets a powerful radar with a maximum of 90 kilometers of detection range and 45 kilometers for lock range. The J-35XS also uses an IRST, which stands for Infrared Search and Track coupled with its radar, and allows to lock to the heat signature of jets and slaving the missile to that lock. But the lock target won't receive a warning unlike radar that triggers the radar warning receiver if it's able to detect the lock. Not to brag, but my aim is getting even better with the upcoming videos. This was not the best example of my improving trigger discipline. I think I was still affected by my previous round, where I kept leaving the ground targets just damaged.
In the upcoming videos, I have also improved my keyboard on screen. It is now a full-sized keyboard, which includes a keypad. I have some of the binds I don't use bound to the keypad, such as weapon selections, wing control, etc. Well, the game thought I helped. I'll take it. These teammates are just too good. Thank you all for watching. Please consider leaving a like if you enjoy this series so far. Subscribe to be in the loop about new videos, and as always, comments with any tips on how to improve are always appreciated. See you all next time.